Hello, Feed the Meerkat here, welcome to another episode of Mother 3. Actually, no, I don't think I'm going to need any more of that. I've got loads of items, so... If you do need items, uh, this is quite helpful. But I'm just going to buy a sprinting bomb Uh, oh, actually... Pencil rockets. Now, pencil rockets are quite helpful. I think I'm probably going to buy a pencil rocket just because I have the chance to. This certainly isn't my favourite section of the game, but never mind. The brown ones, as far as I can tell, lead to areas where there's a, a present like this, or something like that, uh, or one of these item guys, but um, they don't have enter, they are blocked off so that you can't enter any other rooms from them. I think that's what they're useful for. See this this blue entrance here, as you're about to see in a minute, leads us to a place where there are multiple exits we can use, so whereas that other one didn't. These look similar to creatures we fought before, but they're not the creatures we fought before, they're a different version. So I'm going to show that off. Poison hurts you quite a lot, so it's a good idea to get rid of it. There's a lot of creatures here, and uh, they're quite annoying. Okay, I was wrong, this does lead to an exit. Then I really have no idea what the uh, the differences in the different coloured sexes on the map are. If I should end up missing something, then I've missed something. Such things happen. Ah, but it does eventually lead here, and we can also see the boss, which is that floating uh, violin, I think. To be honest, I'm tempted to run away from this fight, but I probably shouldn't do, because uh, there is a boss coming up, and the extra experience would be useful.
There are unfortunately a lot of enemies in this area and that's that's just how it is, nothing you can do about them. Well, apart from defeating them obviously. And since there are multiple entrances, uh you're going they're gonna be respawning a lot. I really do find the sex massive bad actually. I'm very certain we've been down there. <laughs> I suppose one good thing is they do leave um, a lot of uh, uh, healing items. If I had something that could, if I had a fire attack, that would be quite helpful at this point. But I don't. All right, this this changing the mood thing basically changes uh, the pattern for um, doing multiple attacks. Um, according to the rhythm of the battle. So the rhythm of the battle changes. Actually, oh, that wasn't that bad. I still don't like the musical instruments, they are pretty annoying, but that wasn't that bad. I think sometimes it's important to know when you really can't defeat an enemy and then important to really, really hope that uh, you can run away and the running away will be successful. Still, we have nearly finished this situation. I'm really hoping now, for example, that I can run. No, I can't. That's better. It's certainly not flawless, but it's better. That's considerably worse. If I can run away for a second, long enough to uh, heal myself, or at least long enough to heal one of myself. Ah, okay. Now I suppose I will fight you.
There's a thing in here. A very nice looking thing. Perhaps I should have asked these mice about these items first. I think that was him saying you look like you've been hurt. So have some nut bread. I that was hard to decipher. I'm <laughs> still not sure what he said, but... Okay, I'm gonna leave the other one just in case the other one has something useful in it for healing me, basically, that I might want to use later. I mean, we've still got to go through a couple of rooms before we reach the boss and then the entrance. name. It's, it seems like that name's designed for people to make terrible jokes. Anyway, boss coming up. I will see you in the next episode.